Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Big Blue Drew 97 here, coming at you with another manga reaction. Let me scoot over a little bit more to a particular Shonen Jump Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, manga chapter 138. And uh, yeah, it was on a slight hiatus, not hiatus, but it was on break uh, last week. And I literally started. Uh, doing these uh, reactions to the chapter uh, two weeks ago. So this is gonna be my second reaction to this uh, chapter. Uh, if I remember what happened last chapter and I do, uh, yeah, uh, Itadori as well as the principal, uh, as well as Gojo um, are either uh, set to be executed or have been exiled from uh, Juju the Jujutsu world, as well as the potential reveal that cursed spirits are a thing and that uh, now uh, after the Shibuya incident, like everything is going down. But we also got to get introduced to a, a former uh, protagonist for Jujutsu Kaisen and how he is planning on being uh, Yuji's executioner. And uh, will this happen? Um, let's go and read the chapter to find out but like but before we do that if you haven't done so subscribe to my youtube channel at big 97 as well as leave likes and comments down below if you like to see more reactions to other stuff in shonen jump and without the way let's get right into the reaction so we have jujutsu kaisen chapter 138 the kenan clan and they say is she dead oh no i don't oh no oh if i remember you have maki and mai if there's any clan i hope maki isn't dead and if maki is dead uh it makes sense but i will hate it that girl mai oh no and then you have nadia zin special grade one sorcerer oh wow he's a special grade one sorcerer okay that's new worry about the head of the clan right now Besides, the one who's dying is Maki. Really? Whatever, then. Oh, no. Oh, Maki. No, Maki may be pretty, but she's unacceptable. She doesn't know how to support a man. Any woman who can't walk three steps behind a man should get stabbed in her back and die. Oh, wow. Wow. In that case, in that respect, Mai is great. She's got the same face as Maki. And it's just as buxom. Though she acts tough, she knows she's a woman. And someone screams, you're late. Oh, first, oh. Oh, what have you been doing? Ogi Zinin. Zinin, special grade one sorcerer. Jinshi Zinin, grade, special grade one sorcerer. Okay, so I guess they're just all special grade sorcerers. Right now, your father is on death's door. Sorry, but it doesn't matter if I come or not, because the next head of the Zinni clan is me. My older brothers are all losers, and you, my uncle, haven't amounted to much despite being his little brother. His daughter is out of the question. As for Jinchi, well, your face is no good. Too bad you and Toji's places aren't reversed, as it seems as if he's being attacked but dodges. Oh, and he has like a blade point. Someone has a blade, a katana point in his throat. It's like, please, daddy's hovering at death's door. Why can't we all get along? You antagonized him, that's why. I see. Everyone is here. Oh. Master Nobito Zin, the head of the Zinni clan, has just passed away. Oh, I, Fudate, am his in possession of his will. According to Master Nobito's wishes, I am to read the will when Ogi Zini, Jinchi Zini, and Neya Zini are all present. Oh, and they are all here. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. He immediately dies, and everyone that needs the will to be read is read. I have it. I, you know, it would be funny if he reads the will and he's like, you get nothing you get nothing you get nothing uh my or maki becomes the head oh i oh that, that would that would be hilarious i would love for that to happen if there are no objections i will now read the will oh 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 that's sad the 27th head of the zinin clan is to be nanoi zinin Naoi is to inherit all assets, including the cursed tools stored in the Tokyo Prefecture Jujutsu High School and Zenin Family Cursed Warehouses. Upon approval of either Ogizini 
or Jinzini, Nao may take over the duties. Shk. Whatever. However, if Satoru Goju has died or become mentally incapable for any reason, a written agreement concluded with Toji Fushiguro will welcome Megumi Fushiguro into the Zenin clan, whereupon he shall become the head of the Zenin clan and all assets shall pass to him. <laughs> On the Gumi's level, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, get on the Gumi's level, you scrubs. And this dude is just mad. He's like, What? Yes, get on his level. I just noticed the lights up there. Get on his level, scrub. In the end, those two are weak. They'll prefer some brat they barely know to me, so they won't do anything. Where is Megumi now? And what's he doing? I don't know the details, but it appears he is searching for Yuji Itadori in Tokyo. Who's that? Suika's vessel. Then tell the higher-ups that Nanoi Zini will kill Suika's vessel. Megumi is where Suika's vessel is, right? That Nanoi Zini. Oh, uh, I'll kill both of them. Tokyo has become a realm of demons now. It doesn't matter when or how people died. It'll work it out after I'll kill them. After all, I am the head of the Zuni clan. Oh, you crazy, crazy person. Oh, and I think we're getting a flashback. Sorry for not acting sooner. The situation had reached a point where I thought I could temporarily just keep an eye on things. Have you realized I'm not necessarily on your side? I'm just a humble beauty who wants to eradicate cursed spirits from the world. By way of apology, my comrades and I will take responsibility for delivering those kids who were there. It's about time I confront Tingen. What will you do? As Yuji is just sitting down on the ground, as like his quote unquote brother comes in, he's like, Yuji, how are your injuries? I'm good somehow, despite being hit by Black Flash. I think that's because of Suika. I can tell that his strength is growing. Yuji. Don't worry about me. You can return to Jujutsu High. I have to collect the remains of Sho So and the others anyway. I'm not worried about you. The problem isn't whether I want to return or not. Sukuina is plotting something involving Fushiguro. Besides, I killed too many people. Won't kill someone in the future. Who's to say that someone you save won't kill someone in the future? Oh, oh. I can no longer stay with everyone. Are you fine with it? I also killed your little brothers. It's fine. That was a misunderstanding. If Etzo and Kechuzi were in my place, they would have said the same thing. It isn't about giving or not forgiving. Brothers are just like that. Let's go. Right now, we have to take care of as many cursed spirits as possible. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's setting up Itadori as well as like the other blood manipulation guy versus uh, whoever the freak this guy is. I forgot his name. Uh, let's let's go back to see who it is. Uh. His name, his name, his name. Oh yeah, N Naoya, Naoya, yeah, Naoya, that's his name, as well as, uh, let me see if I can remember the other guy. I uh, probably don't, but it's fine. It's fine, I forgot his name, who his name is, but it's fine. Uh, where is he, where is he, where? Utah, that's his name, Utah. So yeah, like I said, the last minute of that chapter, you have Utah, Itadori, the blood manipulation brother guy as well as now planning on killing itadori potentially so oh this is going to be very interesting as well as the fact that uh basically the zenin family uh is collapsing and now um oh gosh 
Oh gosh, I keep, oh man, I'm still so used to Jujutsu Kaisen that I don't, Megumi, yeah, there it is, from Megumi, yeah, he's now the head of the family, so this is gonna be great, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bloodbath in the future, but now we're gonna have y Yuji going through more realization that, hey, maybe it's bad that I was, like, living because so many people died, as well as now he's being planned for execution, so, uh, what do you think's gonna happen next chapter, because this is getting even more exciting, and like I said, uh, if you haven't done so, uh, leave a comment down below on what you thought of this chapter, if you like these reactions, leave a like on this video, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, do all that cool jazz, and hopefully I'll be able to catch you in my next video, so, bye!